All right, let's talk about last night's Tesla event. It was supposed to be this epic grand moment for Tesla where they showed off their robo taxis and the future and ideally talk details about how they're actually gonna get, you know, regulatory approval and maybe even just showing some demos of FSD working extremely well, some hints at upcoming versions and how they would get there. Like what's the roadmap from FSD unsupervised to FSD supervised? Well, what we got was kind of all hype and no details, no action. And that's super disappointing for me as a Tesla shareholder. <laughs> I feel like Tesla, is leading in the autonomous race in terms of vision only, end-to-end -end machine learning, which is really the only way to solve autonomy at a mass scale. But I just did not see that here today. This was one-off software on prototype vehicles going around a studio backlot with no real obstacles. So you compare that to Waymo, which is currently killing it. You can actually ride in a Waymo in many cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco and actually have a legitimate robo taxi experience today. Uh, it just made the night and day difference you know, pretty harsh. Tesla seems like they're trying to push a lot of things that are gonna happen in the next few years, kind of up to now so they can pump the stock. Well, unfortunate for me, that didn't work. The stock is down 7% the day after, and I definitely see why. Let's get into some of the reasons why this event was a flop. Firstly, let's talk about the CyberCab. I think it's a really cool design, but if we're just talking about the practicality of this vehicle and the ability for them to sell this in 2026, it feels like there's infinite hurdles to get over. You can't even sell a vehicle today without side view mirrors that has four wheels. So imagine trying to get that regulation removed, get the regulation removed for a steering wheel, for pedals, and actually getting this approved for road use. It just seems like an exorbitant amount of work. And like Tesla is not there yet with FSD. I mean, you have to take over pretty much every single drive for one reason or another with FSD today. And even though I think the autopilot team is absolutely crushing it, they're doing everything right. The method is right, the programming is right, and the AI machine learning models are getting better and better. I don't think by next year or by 2026, they can prove that it's safer than a human. I mean, that would be impressive to me. I feel like they've been saying that for years and years and years, but it's probably not gonna happen in the time frame that Elon suggested. So that just leaves this weird vehicle that costs sub $30,000 that's coming out in 2026. First of all, it's probably not gonna be 30,000. It might be more by then. Second of all, I think they'll need to release this vehicle with a wheel and pedals and side view mirrors. And at that point, what's the point of this whole event? If you're trying to show a lower cost vehicle, which is I think what the stock market wanted to see, just make a lower cost vehicle, make a two seater all electric vehicle that's awesome. You can't just kind of show this prototype before you even have the vehicle that can self drive. I mean, that's totally backwards and it's all hype. I noticed Elon wasn't giving, you know, nearly any specifics about the vehicle itself, how fast it charges, how it doesn't even have a charge port from what we can tell. There's just a lot of things about it that seem weird at Scream prototype. And uh, it screams to me that they took a Model 3 or Y, put a different cab over top of it. And uh, yeah, just made some pre-planned routes that are mapped in advance. I've seen some comments from people who work at Warner Brothers that Tesla engineers have been there for months trying to get this all working. And it makes sense because the software is just not there yet. I mean, it's very, very impressive and it reduces the strain of driving by quite a lot by having FSD, but it is not unsupervised or even close to it yet. Now getting to Optimus for a minute, there's the same problem. The FSD team is doing a great job, but they're not there yet. And we're trying to pretend like they're there. Same with the Optimus team. They're not there yet. The AI has not been made yet. They're showing it as if it is, right? So they have all these Optimus bots, which look fantastic. I bet the actuation is amazing. I think the robotics team that created Optimus is incredible, but you know, these are just tele-operated uh, robots right now, right? So they're just people at HQ or in a room somewhere controlling the robots and, and doing the actions. If we're trying to paint the future that these Optimus robots are gonna be in our house in a couple years, yet again, it's just such an over-promise, under-deliver. And I feel like you look at this event through a magnifying glass at all, you realize it's all fake, it's all staged. And that's just not what I like Tesla for. And I think that's why people are so pissed off. Next, let's talk about the Robovan or the Robovan. This was even weirder than everything else to me because this is so obviously a very, very early pre-production concept vehicle. It hasn't gone through testing. It looks weird. There's no ground clearance. Like, there's just infinite things wrong with this vehicle. To bring it out like a real remote controlled car, obviously it doesn't have FSD firmware in it. Obviously it's nowhere close to being done. Why even show something like that in an event like this? Again, it just paints the picture that Tesla has this little party department that's trying to make all these fun things come together for a little party, uh, but it has nothing to do with their primary business yet. The fact that they still haven't scaled up the Tesla Semi and they're still working on the Tesla Roadster 
and have like no release date for it whatsoever. It's sad that they just keep coming out with these weird things that are seemingly further and further away from actually being real. So if they showed Optimus and said, hey, it walks really fast now. Now we just need to get some AI in there. I'd feel a lot better about it than this kind of strange reality we're in right now where it's all hype and no action. I think Tesla is the best when they execute on their vision, when they scale production, when they prove to the world that they can do things. I mean, that's what makes any company good, right? But if they're constantly just churning out new ideas that are seemingly years and years out from being in the public, it's just a bad look. It is a bad look. <laughs> <laughs> so what I saw was an arrogant Elon Musk trying to talk about the future that he knows is years and years away to try to pump the stock and I don't really know why. I think they should focus on making better, cheaper EVs that people want to buy and once their FSD software actually is good enough, just turn on the switch, everyone's going to be so happy. You can talk about that all you want, but definitely don't say you can get regulatory approval for California and Texas in 2026. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on OpenPilot, which is a free open source kind of version of Tesla Autopilot and on Autopilot as well. So if you want to stick around and check out future videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you all in the next video. Bye.